Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of the Read Aloud Book Club. I am so happy to have a wonderful story for you today and it's a day that I think sometimes we can all relate to. So from a New York Times bestseller, I am about to read you Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang, illustrated by Max Lang. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy. Jim insisted. On his walk to meet Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his eyebrows. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Finally, Jim looked happy, but he didn't feel happy inside. I wonder if that's a real smile. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as he beat his chest. And then he stormed off. Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up 
and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I dance with porcupine, said Norman. He's got all those porcupine girls. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim. But I'll probably feel better soon enough, too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. And he already felt a little better. And that's the story of Grumpy Monkey. And you know what? It's okay to have those kind of days. I have those kind of days and I just need to work it out because normally it'll wear off before it even began. Anyways, I hope to see you next time and have a great day. Bye y'all.